today. Um, it's Friday. I'm hurried considering my hair is a mess. Um, I'm going to do my makeup today. I wanted to use this Aqua Smooth, um, but I feel like my skin is a little bit oily today, so I'm going to try to use my CoverGirl um, Clean um, makeup. So here is a um, powder foundation which I've used just as a foundation before, and it works really, really well. Um, so I'm going to use this oil control medium light. I'm just going to shake it up, and I'm not going to use a liquid primer. I'll just use uh, my Physician's Formula Primer Corrector and Highlighter. So when you use this oil control formula by CoverGirl, it's part of the Clean Collection. There's three, um, Normal, which I really love, but I don't use it too much because I have oily skin. It comes with eucalyptus oil and clove oil, and so does the powder, and it's really amazing. So I'm in love with that. And so after I shook it up, I'm just going to put it on my hand. I'll shake it up a little bit more. I'm feeling I need to shake it some more. And then there's Sensitive, which is really good. I wore it yesterday, and, and there's a lot of control like this. So yeah, I really wanted to try my CoverGirl smoothers in the um, blue compact, which I really like this one. Um, and I got a darker smoothers powder, which can um, chamomile extract, which I really love. But I'm in a hurry this morning, so I'm just going to put my foundation on my hand. I was on um, line this morning looking for um, like laptop screen protectors because I film my videos on my laptop. And it came up with like these different types of film. So I lost my um, screen protector, so I definitely need to get a new one. And so maybe I'll go to Best Buy today and look for other things. One sec, I'm sorry. Hello? Okay, bye. Okay, sorry. So, um,. I'm going to look um, to see if they have any cameras today. So I'm just going to put this on my face. I'm just going to be quick. <laughs> it went all over my hand. I'm just put that down here. This product is really amazing to help control oil. I'm going to look for my, um, um, control liquid foundation. And I guess I don't know where that is, so I'm just going to work this in. Just going to use my fingers. They're clean today. I didn't, um, remove my eye makeup. I just wash my face and use makeup remover, but I didn't use any of the um, other stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to use next is the Maybe I'll try the Rice Protein Complex Powder. This one, by Neutrogena, it's supposed to help absorb oil. So I'll combine that one with uh, what I have here. I noticed that my sensitive is a little bit light. I might want to get a dark one, but I have some bronzers to use up. So I think you just use those up. So yeah, I'm going to try to go to Best Buy today to see what um, type of, like, inexpensive cameras they have. Because I'd like to be able to make nice videos for you all. <laughs> I've seen a GoPro, but, like, that's for sports. That was, like, 250 or 190 or something. Okay. So I'm going to go for a concealer. I'll use my 
I just use this ready set for just concealer. This is 250. The oil free. Gonna like this. Blend that in with my finger, as you can see. Blend like that. I read everywhere that people are to use their um, the pads of the ring finger to blend it in. I'm just going to blend in the concealer like this. Let's see if I can find my mirror. And my mirror is over here. Um. Oh, it looks okay. So I'm going to use my eyebrow highlighter. By Milani. I'm going to use the light. I'm going to highlight my eyebrows. Right here. Right up here. Highlight the inner corners of my eyes. Kind of like in the triangle, like the natural shape of our eyes. And then I'm just going to blend that in. A little bit of blending in here. Blend that in. I'm in a hurry this morning, so I have coffee. Okay, I'm going to have my foundation there. And then I'm going to try my new um, Milani eyelid primer. Oh, it's light. Maybe I should have used darker color. This is really wonderful. It contains um, algae extract and calendula extract, which is a be really beautiful flower um, and it's cruelty free and a vegan product. I don't know many Milani products that they have and there's a recycle sign on here so that's really cool and I'm just going to put this on my eye. Nothing came out yet. Let me see. Oh, a little came out. So I'm just going to use a tiny bit today. So I'm just going to blend this. Blend it over here. And the instructions say to wait for it to like dry or whatever for 30 seconds. I really like it. It gives me a nice natural look. I'm not putting it down here just on my eyelids. It's on my Oh, it looks like my natural color it blends really, really well with the CoverGirl Oil Free. Okay, now I'm going to use my, um, I'll just go for this CoverGirl powder. I'm not going to use any Trevena in a hurry. And I'm going to use my custom buffing brush. And I have two colors of this powder. I think this is like the buff beige like that 525 buff beige so I'm just gonna pull up this and pull up my face this product is really wonderful at controlling oil like almost in love with it so Okay, that should be enough powder. A little bit goes a long way. And this is the Neutrogena Shine Control with um, 
um, red protein complex. Um, it's good for oil control, but I'm not going to use it. Okay, so next I'll just do um, my eyeshadow, which will be the my usual position formula. Let me use this product first. This is the um, Positions Formula 3 in 1 Corrector Primer and Powder. It's by the Mineral Wear line, so it's talc free. Just let our skin breathe, and it's really amazing. So I'm just going to use my buffing brush again. Let me open that. And this is like a primer and just makes my face look nice. So I'm going to swirl it in there. So there's different colors in here. They're like tie-dyed swirl colors, or that's what it reminds me of. Um, and there's pink, yellow. Um, this is like transparent beige, so it has that color. And green. Um, Green neutralizes redness, and yellow neutralizes dark spots, and the beige is the beige for the sets powder, and it's a mineral base. It's not oil-free, but it's really great. So it, like, evens out the skin, and it makes the pores less visible, and it's really amazing in love with that product and I don't think I'm gonna have time for eyeshadow much today so I'll just go like this like that rub it in Okay. okay, and I'm going to try this brow gel or brow wax by Milani. It's my first time using it. It's vegan, cruelty free, not tested on animals. Um, another product that's vegan I have um, for eyebrows or that I use for eyebrows or eyelashes is the Wet n Wild. Um, clear gel which you can use to shape eyebrows or eyelashes and if you're a man you can use it like to shape your mustache or your beard or whatever but I'm not a man so I wouldn't use it for that so I'm just gonna try it like this Put it in here like this that's very different so it looks like that did it quickly because I'm in a hurry. Um, I'm going to put my brush away, my custom buffing brush, and I'm going to use okay, so I use the eyeshadow. I don't need my good tools eyeshadow brush. I don't need that. I should use a little bronzer. Let's see, I don't need bronzer today, really. Do I? I do. I look a little pale, so let me find a bronzer. I got these really cool um, position formula bronzers, like a how to bronze kit, which is. I'll do a video on and another one um, and, um, comes with like a coral or like a seaweed extract, like Irish moss type extract. That's the solar power. I really like that one. So I'm going to use this Physicians Formula 3-in-1 Corrector, Brightener, and Bronzer. And it comes with um, colored swirls. Um, it's orange, pink, and golden. So it'll highlight. And I'll just use my buffing brush again. 
the third time, <laughs> taking it out, putting it in. So I'm just going to go along the figure shape three line like this on my face as a guide for my bronzer. Three. And bronze all over. So that gave me a touch of color. Now my eyebrows have water on them. Okay, so that gives me a nice matte finish. And no, I need this for blush. So for blush, I'll just use my Cover Girl Clean Peaches. Maybe I'll use my other one. I use this one. I want to feel a little more um, peachy or like uh, not peachy, but um, a little more colorful today. So I use this CoverGirl um, Curly Plum Blush. As I said in my videos, CoverGirl products are probably, um, well, the first set of products that they use are vegan, and if they run out of synthetic and vegetable sources, they turn to animal sources. So hopefully every product that I use by CoverGirl is vegan, because I'm vegan, vegetarian, and if I didn't want it, I don't think it would be. So I'm just going to do the highlight, tap it in my face. Up, blend, blend, blend. Up, blend again. Blend again. So what I've used so far is liquid oil control, um, oil control powder, Physicians Formula, translucent beige, primer corrector and powder, and. Um, on my forehead, my nose, that look like I have a lot of sun. Um, Milani um, eyeshadow and aquatic park. I missed my nose. I didn't put makeup on my nose. Right next to it. Okay. And um, oops, I put it in the wrong package here. Okay, next I should do my eyebrows. I like to feel bold when I do my eyebrows. It's just what naturally happens to me. Like, I feel like a stronger woman. Like, I'm more powerful the face today. And I just feel more confident. And I just feel really amazing when I um, do my eyebrows. So I'm just going to finish it with this CoverGirl eyebrow. Oh wow, that was really dark. You can really see my eyebrow today. I mean, up close. So if you don't want a heavy look on your eyebrows, just kind of sweep it across slightly. That was really dark. Oh my lord. Wow, I have a lot thicker eyebrows now. <laughs> oh my lord. What have I done? Okay, I'm going to try to remove this here. Oh. Some came off. More came off. So I pressed too hard. Not a big clump right there. I need some eyebrow lightener. So I'm going to use this color. I'm going to use this, um, Matte color, the matte beige. Just 
So wait, I'll use the white because I want it to be lighter. So I'll just blend that in. I'll just try to blend this in. I have a big crack right there that I don't want. I guess this is what happens when you're getting off the camera. Oh, well, it's not like the worst thing in the world. Okay, maybe it'll look like that. I'll just blow my hair like that. No. I guess that was a mistake to deal with it. Okay, now I'll try to make it look um, more subtle. Using mascara. Mascara, where are you when I need you? Come here. Come here, mascara. in a hurry this morning. Okay, since my eyebrows are so dark. I'm going to use my bombshell mascara because that's the only one I can find today. I'll just do it like so this is the brown. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. Let me get a napkin to cotton ball to wipe off my ow some of my eyebrow pieces here no you're just gonna need to work on it you guys come up I don't wanna look this like I have man brows Oh no. Oh. Okay. Okay, so it looks a little more subtle. I need a little more here. So yeah, if you don't want to use, if you want um, subtle looking eyebrows, try just to use um, a light smoothing touch. Okay, so I'm just going to use this. Um, 
Revlon Photo Ready 3D Mascara. Where were my mascaras are today? Okay, well, I'm just going to go and move on to lipstick. I'll let it out. Lipstick here. So I'll just stick my hand in, grab anything. It's a carrot gold. Um, I'll just use this neutral one. Um, have a out of here. It still comes out kind of pinkish. And not. Uh, I thought it would be totally neutral. Okay, we'll fix that and. Um, I'll use this. Um, I have one opened already. I have two. I have the Wet n Wild Sugar Plum Cherry, or no, that's the color I just used. Oh, I gotta go. Okay, so let me use the Sugar Plum Fairy to make it seem darker. Fix my hair quickly. I'll just do my hair great in the back. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Didn't make up for another tired morning.